Alrighty then, here's the stuff we're going to be using today for the second Saturday stash slash seven May. Our list is, oh, hey y'all. <laughs> Hey, P.T. Jamie here. I almost forgot to tell you where you were, just in case you weren't sure. Okay, now we are. Any hoots, back to it. Um, this is for hashtag second Saturday stash slash seven. Okay, it's a hop, y'all. Uh, there's a playlist in the description box below the video. Click on the fray, or click... Yeah, click on the phrase, show more to see more information. Maybe it's more together than I am at the moment. <laughs> when you get see the playlist, click the playlist, select play all, and it will play all the videos in the hop. Okay? This is an open collaboration, so if you're interested, information is also in the description box below the video. So, for the month of May, our suggested seven slash items are provided to us by Lisa, My Eclectic Life. Okay? So, she says we need to use a stencil, a Sharpie pen, a paint that you need to use up, tissue paper, cardboard, an old book page, and something shiny. Okay? Okay. <laughs> so there we there we go. All right. So y'all we're going along. We're using uh the gesso re resist where you just, you know, uh use a makeup wedge, it sponge some gesso through your stencil, all right? And then you add your color. In this case, I'm using washes because I need to use these up. And while I was going through the, the bag, I noticed I had several of the similar colors. So I just put them in one bottle. Okay? Anywho, between my layers, I have chosen to p apply a coat of fluid uh, matte medium. Okay? So I want that layer to stay like it is. Okay? Now, I was real happy with this background. Was real happy with the background. We will get there. Now, y'all know I'm, maybe you don't. Maybe you find it out. I am not a real big marker per. Oh, he can, y'all. Uh, marker user person. I'm not really a doodler. But anyway, I have a Sharpie. I don't use Sharpie over acrylic paints because it messes the Sharpies up. I don't know why that is, but it does. So that may be why I'm less inclined to use the Sharpie marker. But I had these other markers, namely they were in the picture you know, of what we're going to be using. I tried one. I didn't like it. And fortunately for me, because I had used my fluid matte medium between my layers, I was able to baby wipe it off. Okay, here you can, y'all. I liked the background a lot. Okay. I know I did too. I, you know, had the stencil one way and then we painted and sealed it and flipped the stencil over the other way, did the gesso again. It's white gesso. Is it white gesso? Yeah. And um, no, clear gesso. I don't remember, y'all. It's in the description box. I'm obviously confused today. Mm, no, not necessarily just today, but mostly right now. So we're doing another layer. Same colors. They're washes. Um, it's an orangey and a pinky. Okay, or a golden yellow and a pink. And they make this really luscious coral color, y'all. And we're taking uh, just a dry piece of paper towel and laying it over it 
Now, your paper towel, if it's got texture, it's going to leave that texture on your surface when you're daubing it up like this, which I happen to have loved it. I was doing real good about uh, scanning my background papers that I thought were, you know, really good. I didn't do that this time. So we've set that aside and we're letting that dry. Here can you go. <laughs> After the fact. And uh, now we're taking our cardboard, which I had just little pieces of. I was int intentionally, I was trying to do a journal page, but it, it didn't work so well. I know, I've already mentioned. Mm. Anyway, we're just sewing up some of our little corget, cardboard corget. He can probably somewhere, I don't know. And we've got this really old book. Um, it is a falling apart book. It was basically a falling apart book when I bought it for $2, okay? Some of these, uh, of this particular one has value. It's from 1885 or something like that. It's old one, y'all. This one has no value uh, because it is falling apart, was falling apart when I bought it. It's got, um, you know, I think it had the worm in there because it's got holes in some of the papers. Anyway, <sighs> using book paper. I'm pretty happy with these little uh, corrugate clustery things. They're not really clusters. There's just like a, you know, just like the book page on there. And initially I was going to use black tissue paper because I have some, so I was going to use it. I thought, oh, I guess to use it. And then I didn't like how it looked either, so we're not using that either. I do use a black jelly roll pen. Um, I don't know that you'll see me do that. Here I'm outlining with the pencil on the stencil because this is where I went over it with um, the metallic marker pen in place of a Sharpie pen that I didn't like, that I didn't film, and I wiped off with a baby wipe. <laughs> uh, Y'all. So anyway, I did all this with the pencil, and then I go over it with the black, the black jelly roll pen, which it's kind of hit and miss, and you can kind of maybe see some of it there. Um, I was not happy with it. What about it I didn't like? I don't know, but I just wasn't happy with it. So now I've kind of got this attitude that, uh, you know, I'm not happy with it, but I'm pressing on because, you know, I can make this work. I can make this work, y'all. Right? Okay. I'm not unhappy. I'm just not thrilled about the background. And then I just couldn't quite get it to lay out any way that I liked it. And I'm like, well, forget that. We'll just make a tag. And I got out this paper doll. It's the only one that I really felt happy with. So that's the one we're using. It's a bride and groom couple. But I'm afraid Timmy or whoever messed up the fella's legs because they're really strange. Strange. Probably why I never used this couple. Never. Even the smaller ones, his legs is just, it's just like, bless his heart. I don't know what's wrong with his legs. So we're going to cover them up with this here corrugate with tissue paper now glued it on. We glued it on some tissue paper. We're just going to cover his legs up and you won't never notice that they were whatever wrong with them. Okay? Okay. I love my Tim Holtz paper dolls. Don't misunderstand me. Please don't misunderstand me. I love them. So we're adding some more book paper. Now, I did not throw anything away. I set these little things all behind me. And I decided I'm going to put a, because um, we're making a tag. You don't have to put floofies on a tag. You know, you're the boss of your tag. Okay? But I decided I want to put a hole in it because I want to put a floofy on there. Because I do like floofies. Pretty much always. There's exceptions to that, always. Anyway, click on the playlist in the description box below. Select the phrase play all to play all the challenge. Open collab.
projects videos for this month okay now I have found out that I can add an already live video to the playlist so if you are adding and making a video after the fact you know let me know and I will do my best just to add it okay add it to the playlist any hoots otherwise you may contact Maria of Maria's Miscellany and uh, her information's in the description box below along with a lot of other information if you've never done an open collab with a playlist video kind of thing before okay okay it's just another one of those things once you get used to it it's like well that's easy enough huh so we're just gluing our stuff along I like the deep slash on the upper part of the tag there okay so I saw somebody did a tag like that they did it like that on both sides and then I started doing it or I've done it on a few tags anyway and this time I thought well I'm just gonna put it on the one side this time so when I glued my couple on there I didn't glue them totally down I kind of left it open over there next to the man with the leg issues so he's actually a pocket y'all he's a pocket and have this little scrap right here and I'm like well we're just gonna fold that over and we're just gonna stick it in there and he's that's gonna be in the pocket so it's in the pocket now here's the shiny thing we have to add a shiny thing and I thought well I have these mirror stickers they're little round ones and bigger round ones a couple square rectangular lucky ones in the package uh, that I got from King Dollar way back when years ago and I thought perfect time to use that mirror so we stuck it on there okay and I thought well I'm gonna go ahead and put another tissue paper here on the front I think it's kind of cool the way these tissue papers I'm happy with this tag y'all okay things weren't going well but I think we pulled it out of the hat or the ditch we're getting it together and I thought let's put some flowers on there it's a wedding she needs flowers so I have these that I've gotten Happy Mail, and I'm like, well, I'm trying on the different colors, because, you know, pink or yellow one would work. I, I tried the green one and the blue turquoise one, but they were just not making me happy, and I thought, go on with the yellow! Or yellow, as I typically refer to it. So we're putting those on, and they have little pearl centers. They came that way, y'all. Because they're made by Jot, they probably came from the Dollar Tree back when it was a dollar so we've got those on there and I've got some fibers over here and they are kind of a um, manila color I would say a manila ish color so we're putting that on there it just we're pretty much done check out the hashtag uh, play along welcome to play along yeah yes you can substitute stuff and really we just really want you to bust your stash use the stuff out of your stash okay a project of your choice um, make substitutions if you want to make substitutions for your stuff you can do that it's allowable okay but play along with us y'all second Saturday stash slash seven that's the back. I left it plain. Plain old plain old. Put my little name stamp on there. AKA stamp of approval. <laughs> Alright y'all. So we've got that in there. Why is it in there? Because it was over there and uh, it, you know, it fit. So, ta-da! Photo montage! <laughs> <laughs> please like kind comment and share on the other uh, my fellow collab video t creators and um, yeah appreciate each and every one of you mm -hmm. <sighs> it's nice right thanks for watching and happy art y'all